Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. This is part 4 of the drama between Nivok and Sugar Milks. So we have this response video from Sugar Milks. I will be further debunking Nivok's points with Mel. Hey guys, so Nivok made another video about me. Let's react to it. Sugar Mel, I've had enough of your shenanigans. Not only have you repeated the actions you said you wouldn't repeat, what actions are you talking about? She never repeated anything, she apologized. Get it through your head. You also have done a lot of other stuff, like manipulating your fans and trying to cover up your disgusting actions. Sugar Mel has constantly been lying to you all without giving me a proper chance to respond. Oh, here we are again making. It seemed like she is manipulative which you can't prove it was her intention to manipulate. Nivok, you have had every chance to respond. You did enough. Yapping as it is. Let's talk about Sugar Mel's fanbase. Ah yes. This person here says stop exposing Sugar Mel or else. That's clearly not what that person said. They said make an apology video or else. Nice threat. Or maybe her fanbase calling me some pretty bad stuff. You're acting like your fans don't say that to me. Nivok doesn't even need an apology. Mel is the one who needs it. Nivok so badly wants to be seen as the victim. It's hilarious. And as a person with ADHD, that's quite offensive. So Sugar Mel can't even control her fanbase from threatening me and saying slurs. Nice one. Of course, using your developmental disorder as a way for people to feel sorry for you, as someone who has bipolar and derealization disorder, I can tell you right now, I don't blame my actions. Because of my disorders, I know people with ADHD, but they don't act like this. It's conspicuous. You need to get off the internet if you feel like you will continue down this path. Although it is scientifically proven that ADHD can affect someone's compulsiveness, it's not okay to use that as an excuse. You are not that mentally ill. I will gladly go on a whole rant about mental illness because I feel like not everyone understands just how awful it is or what it does to you specifically, but I will try not to. I never knew they said that and I can tell them to not say that. But you didn't tell your fans to not send me death threats so why should I? Exactly. How do you expect Mel to tell her fans to stop the death threats when you were aware she was getting them a whole month before? Anyways Sugar Mel also promotes false things about me. She promoted this post where this person tries to debunk our claims. And in that post, she says I showed no evidence that I got death threats. Shall I remind you? Which is not very fun to deal with. Get your fans to stop sending me death threats and I'll tell mine to stop. As you can see by that clip, I showed proof that people were telling me to do awful things to myself. Basically a death threat. We just call it that. So, well, are you trying to invalidate my death threats by promoting people who think the same? I thought you were better than this. You never showed those death threats until you made this video. It's not that I think death threats are okay. Because I know that mental health is not taken seriously these days, death threats can have a significant impact. I just think karma found its way to you, and that you don't like it, but to bad, you could have stopped the drama long ago, but continued. In this same post that Mel promoted, that girl said that Mel and Meliox, the Chinese girls, were both kids, and we should stop hating on them. First of all me and Mel are the same age. I cannot confirm that. I don't know your age. And I'm getting way more hate than her. She has her whole fanbase attacking me. So how come when she hates on me, it's okay, but when I quote unquote hate on her, it's not okay? Don't even start acting like the victim. She never hated on you. How many times? Do you want to hear it? You just can't handle that you are in the wrong. But literally two days after that she sends her fanbase once again to hate on one of my fans. Your fan made 11 damn videos on me. You sent your fans to hate on me. So she clearly hasn't taken accountability or cares that much. 
She only wants her reputation to be good. The fact that you did this again right after apologizing for something like this is crazy. I'm not perfect, but I've never stooped that low. She also said that she blocked the haters and then 20 minutes later makes a community post about people who were hating on her. I thought she didn't care about the haters anymore. Clearly, she was just looking for attention. I can't believe Nivok thinks this way. It is so sad to see that he thinks he is in the right. First of all, stop making it seem like everything she does is for attention you hold onto that argument too much second of all hate can damage someone's mental health and it's thousands of people that attack and hate on her you can't expect someone to ignore all of that especially when you only keep allowing that by creating these videos that is all i'm gonna show for that video so just recently people accused Mel of being 18 and being a SX worker. The fact that people will go as far as to create fake screenshots is just crazy. I was even in a GC with Mel's ex, Olivia, and Red Studios 42. They were the ones to show the screenshots. Y'all are taking this too far, and of course whenever Mel debunks it, Nivok wants to make it seem as if she is the one. Continuing the drama. Also, there is no proof that Dino is 20, or that Mel is 18. She already debunked all that. I even believe that those screenshots were real. I turned neutral in the drama at one point. Only to find out, y'all wanna be creating fake screenshots. Y'all are legit trying to defame Mel all because you know deep down you are in the wrong. What's so crazy is that Mel is still getting death threats. Nivok also claims it's not his fans that are sending them when it clearly is. I feel like people forgot that death threats are illegal. Stop normalizing death threats. They are disgusting as hell and are absurd. And to all Nivok stands, do you not see how morally unconscionable, compulsive, rude Nivok truly is? Stop making him seem like he is the victim. He clearly needs mental help. It is not normal to attack people 24 7. He also wants to defame Mel when he makes it seem as if Mel is the one doing that when she isn't. He was the one to make it seem as if she was diabolical, manipulative, all because of a simple misunderstanding. Grow the fuck up. Stop living in your own little world. Stop using your mental issues as an excuse for your actions. Get off the internet if you need to. What you should do is apologize. Mel has already tried to do that, but Nivok didn't accept it or apologize. This is the last word for me. And Mel, I hope Mel can get over this drama. It's sad to see how Nivok tried to ruin her reputation. This is the last video on this drama. Bye everyone.